Rangers walked through these Tyne Castle doors on Monday night as cup favourites, but they left heartbroken. Everyone at Tyne Castle was lifted by the result and tickets have been going well for today's clash with Celtic. That's uh, £19, please. Hearts and their fans are on a high. I think it's given everybody a lift, you know, especially the supporters. They've had a very, very hard time of late and uh, I think they got a, a great lift from that one. And also the players, you know, we've hit highs at certain times this year, but it's the consistency aspect that has disappointed me in stringing results together. But I think really in terms of from the game the other night there is the players in terms of belief, they must take a lot from that because Rangers are a quality team. And we didn't sneak the result, we played for the result and we merited the result and that's what pleased me. Uh, you know, the other aspect obviously that I feel was really the Rangers backroom staff deserve a pat in the back for this. It was so easy for them to come out and say we had injuries left, right and centre. But they allowed us to get the credit from that. It's been all changed this season at Hearts. New chairman, new manager and new general manager. A successful team helps everybody. It's dependent on the supporters obviously. Um, in theory when the, the boys are performing on the park then it's a lot easier to sell um, the commercial side and with the new season coming up selling season tickets and things like that but you are dependent on the, the support. Those same supporters have seen a number of personnel changes in the dressing room too. McLean's brought in experience but he hasn't had the money he was promised to build a new Luke Hearts. Basically it's quality that we're looking for coming in the place you know to take Hearts forward Anything, it's like buying in a shop. If you want the good thing or the best thing, you've got to pay the, the, the price. And at the moment, we don't have an abundance of cash to go in for quality type of players. And that's no disrespect to the ones that came in. They've come in and they've done well. But uh, to take hearts forward, uh, you've got to pay for what you get. On the plus side, McLean has some promising young talent at Tynecastle. Kevin Thomas has shown his worth already. And he's eager for success with hearts. We've got the right players, and I can't be asked to do with more, um, because all the right players that are here aren't always going to be fit. So we need well, we need reserves, but the players we've got here are certainly determined enough to uh, to go all the way because we've got enough of a, a lot. I mean, there's not many actual heart supporters, but when once you get here, something seems to change. Change inside everybody. Uh, change inside of me. Change inside Allah. Davy Hagen even, I mean, I don't know if you know Davy, but uh, nothing really goes through that head of his, but uh, this seems to have gone through. Passion and commitment, though, is not enough to win trophies. McLean is desperate to buy and equally desperate to hold on to the talent he has. Like certain other managers within the game, Tommy, will you have to sell before you can buy? Well, I would hope that that is not the way. I've had that at Motherwell uh, for 10 years where basically you had to constantly uh, get a player out to, to try and get something working and what have you and get the club. I honestly th hope that it's not a case that uh, the chairman or the director sit down at the end of the season and say, well, I'm sorry, uh, another player has got to go. If that's the case, well, I've got to review my situation uh, overall because, as I say, I've came down that route. I'm trying to build things. Uh, there are things that at the moment are in progress, but it's far from finished. And joining us now live, the Hearts chairman, Chris Robinson. You can't really afford to lose Tommy McLean because of lack of money, can you? No, I think he's the best manager in Scotland. And uh, I think that what we've got to do is, is to keep the progress going that we've made this season. We only, we only took over in June last year and Rome wasn't built in a day. We've got to try and come up with some creative solutions. And uh, the board and Sally, who you saw earlier, we're all working on that uh, feverishly, if you like, at the moment. Even more feverishly after Monday night's result. But when he took over, he was promised money, as we emphasised in that report. He hasn't had any yet. Will he get some soon? Well, well he has had some money. He has been able to spend some money, but he had to sell first. And uh, to be honest, the, the state of finances here were a lot worse than anybody could have predicted. We really have taken on a, a momentous task here, but we're up for it and uh, we're going to do that. And Tommy deserves to be able to uh, bring the quality of players here that he likes. I can fully understand his position. He had a hard ride at Motherwell and he doesn't really want to, to go down that route again. So it's up to us to get our act together and we've really got to get the fans behind us. Monday night will help that tremendously. It really is about getting everybody harnessed behind hearts now. So pretty soon then what you're saying is he won't have to sell before he buys? 
Well, really, the, the buying and selling is up to Tommy. If, if he decides he wants to sell because um, a, a good offer comes along, that's really up to him. But he's not under pressure from us to sell to solve any debt problems that the club has. Really, what we want to do is to be able to, to get the overall quality of everything at Tynecastle, this great stadium that can be built, and the, the, the team on the park. And I'm sure that, uh, that we can do that. And, uh, you know, Tommy deserves the backing and the, and the players, uh, and we'll do that. Heart supporters will be watching this in big numbers, Chris, and the pubs and the clubs around here, around Town Castle. Tommy says he's ambitious. Do you match his ambition, briefly? Of course we match his ambition. Unfortunately, we don't have the, the, the wealth uh, behind us to, to, to be able to realise that ambition as quickly as everyone would like to. But Heart supporters are, um, are a great bunch, and I'm sure that they'll get behind us. OK, Chris Robinson, thank you.